Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I'm just going to do a quick review, I guess, of the Monteverde Rodeo Drive, or Rodeo Drive, however you pronounce it. Um, up front, I'm very disappointed with this pin, and I'll, I'll definitely go over why. Um, one of the reasons I picked this up, though, is I, I found it on, on Amazon Warehouse Deals for like $13, and I, I certainly wasn't going to pass that up. Um, but Monteverde, I haven't done many videos on their pens, so I want to try some more of them. So I picked up this one, and I also picked up the Monteverde Impressa, which I've heard a lot of good stuff about. Haven't got to try this one out yet. I'm uh, going to very soon. As soon as I get done filming this video, I'm going to go ahead and fill this one up and uh, use it for the next week or so. But in regards to the Rodeo Drive, Rodeo Drive, whatever it is, um, I'll go ahead and go over what I like about it, which isn't a lot what I dislike about it, which is a lot, and give a conclusion. Um, there's not a whole lot of neutral here, but I'll cover that as well. But first, we'll go ahead and jump into a size comparison. So here's a capped size comparison. We have the Rodeo Drive, the Monteverde Impressa, and the Pilot Metropolitan. I almost forgot the name of the Pilot Metropolitan, which is very disorienting, because that's a super common pen. So it's it's a medium-sized pen. I will say, though, it seems to be on the larger side of medium, especially in terms of width or girth. Um, but it is still a, a relatively comfortably sized pen. Um, for most people, I think it'll be just fine. The uncapped size comparison is always the hardest because pens like to roll over. Um, however, you will see it is the longest pen here. Um, not by a lot, but it is, it is a little bit longer than the Monteverde Impressa, mostly on the back end and longer than the Pilot Metropolitan, for sure, by probably, I would say, about a quarter of an inch total. Um, both of these pens do have number six size nibs, as opposed to the Pilot's uh, smaller proprietary nib size, so that accounts for some of it. However, again, um, you'll see it's a little bit larger, but not by much. It's not a super big pen. All right, on to what I like about it. So there's a lot that I think they did right with this pen. Um, I really like the styling of it. It has a retro vibe. I cannot quite place the era. Um, this is strictly my opinion, but it has kind of like a 50s vibe to me. Maybe um, I was not alive anywhere close to there, but uh, I kind of get that impression. It may honestly be kind of the, the striping and things like that. The color. I don't know. But they, they got it right. There are... A lot of very unique things about this pen while it's still obviously being a pen. So, you know, we have a, a polished um, finial up here with an orange matching uh, circle that matches the body. Back down to kind of a polished uh, striated cap. Very, very interesting texture. I really like this texture, honestly. Probably one of my favorite things about the pen is just the way this cap feels. It's crazy. We have kind of a, a fastened clip. And it's really good, honestly. I really like this clip. It's very functional. It, it looks pretty nice. Um, I do wish it were maybe a bit higher, but honestly, I think it kind of adds to the design as well. It's not bad. And we have an orange body and a polished um, end cap back there. To match that, we have a polished section and a steel nib. So overall, I think design-wise, it's very cohesive. That extra little bit of orange on the end is very, very nice. It really brings it all together. Now, I will say this is one of the older colors. This is Orange Stardust. They've redone all of them. Uh, these colors are, have been discontinued. Uh, the new ones have a solid color body, a solid color cap, and the finial and ring are reversed. So, for example, on the orange pen, the, the cap and body are both orange. The finial is orange and the ring around it is silver. I don't have anything against the new colors. I think they look fine. Um, I do feel like this one encapsulates a bit more of a retro vibe, but again, probably just me. Uh, the fit and finish on here are pretty solid. They're not exceptionally great, but they're honestly not that bad. There are a few problems that I'm going to definitely go over, but for the most part, um, it feels pretty nice. There's a little bit of a uh, a step up here around that orange band but nothing too bad where the the end cap and the body meet it's it's pretty smooth and overall finishing on the pen is pretty good 
Uh, this section is really nice and long. I like that a lot. It's a really, really nice section. It has a good taper. It is slimmer, but it's not so noticeable as to be uncomfortable. I generally prefer a little bit thicker sections, but this is, I really like the contour of it, or like the length of it, and it's it's very, very comfortable to hold. I could definitely use this pen for long riding sessions. The nib is just a, a basic nib. I have a lot against it, which we'll go over in a bit, but it does have a screw and nib, uh, nib housing, nib and feed housing, rather. So you can remove it and fit in another, I believe these are Bach, another Bach nib unit. It's a cartridge converter. Uh, super simple. It's kind of what you're expecting at this price. And it does come with a converter, so that's that's not a bad thing at all. Um, trying to think of what else I might like about this pen. The size and weight are pretty good. Uh, it's a little heavy. It is brass, but it's not unwieldy or, or too large by any means. And the length is, is pretty decent. Last thing I like about this pen is going to be the packaging. And most of the Monteverde pens um, in this price range, you're going to get this exact same packaging, so you might know it already. It's just a, a green faux leather box. Um, it's got a clamshell box. I think it would make a very nice gift packaging. Um, you know, just a, a little, again, kind of faux leather interior. You can lift it up and you have your converter and cartridges and information booklets and all that stuff under there. It's just a nice simplistic packaging. It does come with a green cardboard cover. So as a gift, I, I think this is wonderful for, for giving somebody a pen. Um, not that I would give this pen to anyone. That would be a form of torture. But if you were going to gift a Monteverde pen, uh, the packaging is very nice and makes the pen feel like it's worth a lot more than it is. All right, on to the neutral. So uh, a couple of things here. Uh, number one is the price. These pens are $68, and for the fit and finish, the design, the uniqueness of it, I really think that that's not bad. Um, I think this pen from a lot of other companies, or if it actually wrote well, would probably be closer to um, $80 to $90, so $68 isn't bad. Um, Again, I picked this up off of Amazon Warehouse Deals for significantly less than that. And I I don't regret purchasing it, but it's... Uh, I don't know. Um, there's a, a few fit and finish issues that aren't huge, but you do feel a little bit of a seam here. Um, I'm going to place this in the neutral because, again, I did pick it up used. But when I got the pen, I, I knew about this model. I didn't know a ton about it, so I went to just pop off the cap. And the cap did pop off because the cap and the cap band separated. Um, I have since super glued them back together and it's just fine. But you can see where that metallic section starts on the inside where it's reflecting. Um, everything before that came out. So this cap band and all of that black seal interior um, popped off. So that was fun. Other than that, there's not a whole lot here. Uh, again, some of the minor fit and finish issues and the price is just okay. On to what I dislike. There's only one thing here, and it's bad. And I'm going to rant about it a lot. So this here, um, what is this? This is a pen. What do you do with a pen? You write with it, or you should be able to. But you can't write with this pen because it skips and hard starts constantly in the middle of writing um as you saw earlier it does have ink in it i've completely flushed it out i've tried a couple of different inks it won't write consistently um the feed is extremely crooked in there you can see that it it favors if you're looking at the nib top down it favors the left side However, if you look at the breather hole, and this is going to be extremely hard to show on camera, and I do apologize for that. You may not be able to see it super well, but you can see the cut for the feed um, and the breather hole really don't line up that well. So the nib cut is already crooked, which you can kind of see. It favors the left side again, um, and it starts off more on the right, so it, it kind of angles um, 
going that way. Not quite as severe as that, but it, it does angle. And yet, even though the feed is cocked this way, the cut for the feed is angled this way a little bit more. It's a mess. Um, this nib is inconsistent. It's not super scratchy. It's a, it's a very pleasant stub nib. It's a 1.1 millimeter stub. Overall, it's not bad. Regular plastic feed, all that great stuff. But it just doesn't write. Um, it, it just doesn't write at all. Um, I did say there was only one thing here, but I, I forgot about this, and I'll go ahead and mention this now so I get off the the, f the nib and feed bashing train because the flow on this is terrible, the writing experience is horrible, and it just it makes me not want to write with it. Uh, the last thing is that this pen threads horribly. It comes loose all the time. The cap will miss thread as you're putting it on. It can get locked up like it kind of did there, and it kind of has to pop over. All right, now I'm going to try to see if I can get this pen to write for you. It may not at all, but we're going to try our best. So, and I'm, I'm not going to stop and try to fix any of this. If it skips, it skips. I'll, I'll read out to you what I'm trying to write. So, if I can get a little bit of ink going at all. So, this is taking longer than expected. I'm going to cut a lot of this out, but I'm trying to prime the feed now because it won't write at all. This is why I quit using it today in the middle of writing. And it stopped writing altogether. Oh, I think we got, yep, okay, so we're getting a little. Okay, so let's see. This is the Monteverde. Rodeo Drive. This is a stub nib. It's 1.1 millimeters. I tried to write 1.1 there, it did not come out. And the ink is Nemesign. Solar Storm. So, and uh, I'll go and show you the, the line flexibility as well. So we have a reverse writing line, a normal line, and a line with some pressure. Really fantastic. Love the way this nib writes. That's a lot of sarcasm in case you can't tell. In conclusion, this pen is garbage. Um, I understand that I did pick it up used. That's probably why it was sold back to Amazon was because the damn thing wouldn't write at all. Um, again, I've tried flushing it. After this video, I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to try to widen the feed channel, align everything back up, do a breakdown, and put it back together, and see if I can get something usable because there's a lot I like about this pen, kind of. Um, if I can fix the nib issue, it won't be bad. I will say do not buy this for $68. If I paid $68 for this, I'd be furious. I would be so pissed off. But I didn't. I paid like 13 So I'm just going to try to fix it because it'd be nice to have in my collection. Um, otherwise, I would, I would recommend avoiding this. And I hate to say it, this is the second Monteverde pen I've tried, and it's just garbage. Again, just like the first one, it's just garbage. I really hope that this one impresses me. Do you get it? Because it's impressive. Yeah. Anyway, um, this pen's trash. Don't buy it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you have any questions about this piece of garbage or anything else, feel free to leave them down in the comments. If you have a working rodeo drive, let me know. That must be really exciting, kind of like seeing a unicorn out in the wild. But um, if you have any questions or anything on all seriousness, just leave them down below. Um, I'm going to try to get this pen fixed. I'll update the description if I manage to. And hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys. Bye.